Hi everyone, this is Andy from Figment. And today I wanna to talk about how you can deploy your first Web3 application. And I wanna do it in three parts. First, I wanna show you one that we've deployed. It's a block explorer called Hubble, and it's on around 15 blockchains today. All the code's open source, so you can go and look at everything that I'm talking about and download it yourself and fork it and do whatever you want. So that's part one, is I'm gonna show you something we've done and talk about lessons learned. Two, I'm gonna jump into a section where we show off some services we've developed that can help you develop even faster. Uh, skip a lot of the pains that we've worked through the past few years. And then finally, I'm gonna talk about in part three, um, what Figment Learn is. And the, the, the brief pitch is that it's a free way for you to do tutorials to become a Web3 developer. Um, and if you complete certain tutorials, you can even earn some tokens along the way. So three parts, I wanna show you something we've built and give you the code to do it yourself, show you some services that can help you ramp up even faster to deploy your applications, and then show you a series of tutorials and online education about learning more about Web3. So first up, we're going to look at Hubble. We built Hubble to answer the question, what's happening on blockchains, specifically new proof of stake blockchains. And so I'm just gonna jump over here. The website is hubble.figment.io. And what you can see here is that uh, this is a network called Near. Um, this is an application that takes in all the blockchain data and shows what's going on. Uh, these are different validators. You can see their history. You can see what they've done in the past. The point here is, is not to go through all the features of Hubble, but to show you that this is a live application that we've developed and all the code is open sourced. So if you go to Figma Networks Hubble on GitHub, you can download this all and we can show you exactly what it took to build this. Um, and there's been a lot of lessons along the way, but what I wanna do now is, is if you wanna look at the app, check it out. If you wanna look at the code, it's free for you to have. I wanna show you how we've evolved this architecture and what we've learned so far building. So to get at the data shown on the screen, we actually have to start with some very low level blockchain data. You might have heard the term full node before, or uh, there's a special server that keeps a copy of the blockchain data. Um, there's different interfaces you can get that data. Um, one's called RPC, there's others that call themselves REST, some have web sockets. There's all different names, but the point is there's some low level raw data you can get. So you usually wanna grab the data and do something with it. Uh, maybe you want to compute a new analytic. Maybe you want to stream the data. There's some sort of middleware um, where you're maybe you're indexing and you're doing something else um, that you have to do to, to sort of get the data in the right format. And then on the top, there's a web app. Um, and with Hubble, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a web app that's built on Ruby on Rails. You can build any sort of app you want. But this sort of uh, process is what you'll often see, which is raw data coming from some uh, full nodes, blockchain nodes, you do something with it, some sort of data processing, and then showing it um, to the user. And so, um, as I mentioned, we've did all that with Hubble, um, and you can go and look at the code and see how we've done it. So far, uh, we have, I think, uh, 15 different blockchains integrated into Hubble. So there's lots of different use cases. You can see all sorts of different chains, and it'd be really good to look at. Um, and so, uh, I'll pause there just to say that this is a real live application you can go check out, fork it, do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, I wanna shift now into um, what you can do to move even faster because uh, you know running these nodes is quite uh, cumbersome. Doing this data processing is also quite cumbersome. What you really wanna do is be focusing up here on your app. And so I can show you some ways to do that. Um, we created a service called Data Hub um, to really solve some of these problems where instead of running nodes, um, and, and stuff we did to build Hubble, um, we created a service called Data Hub. And so with Data Hub, that previous diagram changes and it looks more like this. We want to provide services that are powered by open source code. So we create open source code and then if, we, if you want to pay us, we can run it for you as a service or you can run it yourself. But the goal is that all this lower level infrastructure is taken care of and you can focus up here and you get the smiley face. Um, but uh, I want to quickly go through uh, what Data Hub is and how it works, because the goal is that uh, we want to have more people launching uh, web apps or, or dApps, um, and we want to take away some of this sort of lower level pain. And so Data Hub, very briefly, is uh, a system to get access to, to blockchain data. You can get raw data, you can get streaming data, you can get some higher level APIs that are indexed and created for you. Um, one of the most common use cases is people ask, can you show me all the transactions for my account? 
Although it turns out on most blockchains, it's actually hard to get at. So these are the kind of things that uh, we want to offer uh, in Data Hub. And it's a, a quick graphic to kind of drive it home is we want to offer all these different blockchains uh, to you, to you as a developer um, via a common service. So there's, uh, uh, you can go from sort of zero to, to developing without running any infrastructure. You can get started today. So I'll flip over um, to a quick demo of what this actually looks like, because the product is live. We have eight networks you can use in Data Hub now. And maybe a way to think about uh, this Data Hub product is sort of um, sort of like uh, Amazon Web Services for blockchain. You can go in and you can look at all these different protocols. I could add a nice new one, Oasis, or I could add Secret, but I'll go into a previous one here. Um, we looked at Near before in Hubble, so I'll look at Near here in Data Hub. And you can see that I could look, go into a test net, I can go to a main net. Um, but what really becomes interesting is that uh, beyond just offering this service for you, um, that, and we have all sorts of documentation, all sorts of stuff you can look at, we want to go one step further. We want to make it easier for you to get started. So what we do down here, if you keep scrolling down, we offer a series of tutorials where you can actually go through um, look at the uh, tutorial and we can verify that you've completed the tutorial successfully. So this, uh, now I'm going to shift into sort of the third part. Uh, what are these tutorials and, and how can they help you? Well, we, we looked at uh, what the challenges were for developers starting in, in, in blockchain and Web3. And we found the most common use case and common issue that people faced was, how can I get all of my documentation in one place? Well, here's the answer. If you go to learn.figment.io, that's learn.figment.io, um, you can now see it. So what we've done is we've gone and compiled for all sorts of different blockchains, standardized documentation that you, you can use. So if you ever want to know how something works, it's just in one spot. It's very easy. But we've taken it a step further. So when we were in the, the Data Hub application, you could see these tutorials. What we've done is we've gone ahead and we partnered with different blockchains to create what we call pathways. So a pathway is a series of tutorials that are interactive. You can go through it and we can actually verify that you've successfully completed each step. So you are learning and getting feedback that you're learning uh, the right things and actually and writing the correct code. So it's a way of sort of automating your learning, getting feedback, almost like a test-driven development where you're getting uh, you know, green check marks as, as you complete tasks. So you know, this first one here is a very basic task, connect to the near node. Uh, create an account, query the blockchain. And at each step of the way, through Data Hub, as you go in here and you look at some of the, the code we've offered, we offer a full script so you can know exactly how to get started. We walk through line by line what every line means and how you can use it and, and how it compares to the, the previous uh, tutorial. But when you're done, when you think, hey, I've got my code working, I'm going to submit this, um, you can submit your transactions and go into Data Hub and click verify. And if you've done it correctly, you'll get a green check mark. And if not, here. I've not completed the step yet. So look, I'm getting an error. So if I get an error, what can I do next? Well, we've got a community at the ready to help you. So you can kind of jump into our discord here and uh, we, can, we can give you extra help. So what we're trying to do here with, with Figment Learn is, is make it a, a sort of one-stop shop for all documentation for Web3 developers. And we're trying to create a community, the largest community of Web3 developers. Um, so that you can go from knowing nothing to you know, sending your, submitting your first transaction um, in, you know, in a matter of an hour or less. That's really the goal here. So to kind of summarize uh, what we talked about today, um, we talked first about Hubble and uh, you know how we created this this uh, this web application. You know it's a couple of years old now. It's all the free open source code. You can go look at it and copy it yourself. We talk about Data Hub as a way for you to uh, you know get started even faster. We'll take care of all the sort of DevOps uh, challenges for you. And we talked about Learn, uh, which is sort of the way for you to go through tutorials. And I didn't mention it, but one of the fun things about these pathways is that if you complete all five steps in a pathway, you can even earn tokens. Right now you can earn 10 near tokens just for completing the pathway. So if you want to learn or you already are a developer and want to try near, you can try that and actually earn some tokens and stake them and use them in the network. Um, so to, to summarize here, I'll show a couple of links about, um, about places you can find us. Um, and the, the key thing is that our website is figment.io. Uh, data Hub is datahub.figment.io. Um, and if you want to learn, it's learn.figment.io. We try to keep it pretty, pretty simple for everyone. Uh, there's our GitHub as well. 
Um, there's there's all sorts. Of, we we have open source a lot of stuff. So I know there's a lot there. But if you have any questions, just jump in our Discord and and ask us. Um, again, there's my email. If you want to personally contact me, I'm happy to answer any questions about this. Um, but the the point of my presentation today was that you can go from knowing nothing about blockchain to looking at some you know mature production uh, ready code from Hubble. We got that ready for you. You can uh, use Data Hub. To, to get going very quickly, almost using like Heroku or AWS, it sort of very much makes it so you have to do a lot less, just focus on your app. And if you really want to start from the basics or even do advanced uh, tutorials, Learn is there for you. So we're trying to create this big community of Web3 developers. We've got tools, we've got open source code, we're ready for you. So um, hope to see you soon. Thanks.